Hello everybody, welcome back to Revolver's Day Gaming. My name is Chris, and this is Dying Light 2. So, yeah, let's get this shit on the road. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men, they will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals, you almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You would be like your mother. You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie? What the? Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? Okay, can I see? Cut off their main source of electricity. Without UD lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ador gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory, provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. You, Aiden. Go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. Man, this game's been glitchy out of hell lately. I mean, really bad. So, anyway, I am absolutely tickled that I did not record the last 20 minutes of gameplay because one of the missions that I had to do had had me find two boys and I had to go to inside of a dark dark zone building and okay so there's one two give me give me a second there's, there's that one okay where's the other one Mostly two of them. Well, anyway. Um, they had me yeah, go, go in there. And I had to, you know, fight my way up to the top floor. Uh, found one boy at the, at the bottom floor. Found the other boy on the top floor, but outside the door he was hiding at, there was a German Shepherd dog, you know, laying on a couch, you know, injured. And while I, while you no, know, I was there, I was talking to the boys, and I had made them confess why. The dog went inside of the building. Well, there's another boy who was the owner of the dog. And they got close to him and the dog to gain both their trust. And their mother's birthday 
was coming up and they had nothing no no money no food no no nothing and her like I said her birthday was coming up so they chose Oh, Oof, this floor doesn't look safe. Maybe there's another way. Yeah. But anyway, they chose to befriend the boy and the dog, lure it away f from no, but the bazaar, and to try and hunt and kill it to eat. Oh, at least they have something for another birthday. You know, betraying total trust of both, you know, the dog and the owner. And, yeah, I mean, I mean, the dog wasn't dead. It was mortally wounded, though. It was dying. And I could either walk away or put the dog out of its misery. And you no, know, that's something I couldn't do. I, I, I mean, I, I couldn't leave it in pain. You know, to die, take that long to die and make it suffer. So I made the hard choice. I put the dog out of his misery. And that's just... No. Look, I understand no eating and everything. But the betray trust. To lie about like that. All because of a damn birthday. I don't give two flying fox about birthdays. I, I really don't. I don't care about mine. Don't care about no ones. Yeah. Nope. If I can, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll get you something. My wife knows this. I, I know. If it, if I don't get her something on her birthday, I'm eventually. I will eventually get her something. <laughs> gotcha. But when it comes to, you know, the necessities, can I at least see what I'm doing? Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, Is that you, Pilgrim? You shouldn't be here, mate. How'd you get in? You're Benny, right? We need to talk. I don't like this. Dodger sent you, did he? Tell him I'm pulling together what I owe him. I'm just... I just haven't got it yet. Hold up, Benny. Uh, Only you had a reason to steal the flower. You bastard. Do you think that just because you turn on the water, you got free run of the place? Tell me I'm wrong. I ain't telling you nothing. Fuck off. <sighs> Benny. What? what? <sighs> Oh, good. It's too high to go up. But anyway, you know, birthdays don't mean nothing. What do you do? It's another day. It really is. It's another day. And. No, no, don't treat, don't treat any, any, any other day different 
than the other. You know, Monday's the same as Wednesday. The same. Monday's the same as Halloween. Halloween's the same as whatever. No. Don't make, you know, certain occasions more important than the rest like that. And, I mean, I know I'm rambling on, but. Uh, you know, trust and. I think so. I want to. Oh, you're dead. Trust and, you no, know, respecting each other. Treating each other, no. Sure, good. That, that's all I'm saying. No, don't, don't. Yes, I, I know they were hungry, but no. The person that they. I mean, it, it was a boy younger than them. They done more damage than, than good. I mean. Somebody would have helped them. I mean, the whole the whole place is joining together. I mean, there, there's there's other dogs in the in this place. I mean, I I'm I'm still hearing dogs, right? I mean, there's something to eat. I know they were saying they was hungry, but. Look, you gotta be better and hold yourself up to a certain standard. I mean, am I, am I wrong? I mean, what are you ringing the bell for? Oh, I was getting close to dusk. But seriously, I mean, am I wrong for thinking that way? I mean, yes, I know the two boys. I mean, one's like 14, one's 16. And then their mother. I, I know, yes, they were hungry, but. Where are you, Benny? They could have done something different to where they wouldn't starve like that. Off from the inside. Yeah, you quit that. Answer a few questions, but I want the truth. Did you steal the flower? No, I don't even know where it is. So why did you attack me? Thought you might have been one of Dodger's boys. Come to collect. I see. Uh. You were in deep with Dodger and used your mother's bountiful harvest for collateral. I was hot that night, mate, and the pot was big enough we could have bought the Jansons fields. With the water back on and all, Mum and me would have been sitting pretty for the rest of our days. But then things got ugly and. Ain't no other way to tell it. I lost. So did Dodger take the flower to settle up? Doubt it. Could have just made me bring it to him. And I would have. He's too lazy to do anything himself. But you know, mate, don't. What's the uh, meaning yeah. of this? I had to skip that. Whoa. 
Stealing the flower was your job, Teresa. So you pilgrims really are crazy. He's off his nut, Mum. You shut your trap and listen, young man. I've had enough of you as well. Benny wouldn't have pulled this off on his own. He's not exactly the brightest chap. No offense, ma'am. None taken. Lump of coal for brains, that one. Mum? <sighs> Very well. I did it. But I really had no choice, Aiden. Man, you're glitching all hell. Bad. We worked for months on that crop. Worked our fingers to the bone. They clean out your ears. They're dirty. They did enough to last for months. There'd be bread enough to feed the whole bazaar. But you know what Dodger would do if he got it? Sell it back to us for triple the price. We'd end up paying for our own flower. A cruel joke. All because of a stupid card game. We'd be ruined. I couldn't allow that. I wouldn't. So, where is the flower? Under the water tower. You must understand, it can't go to Dodger. And why not? He wanted fair and square. Dodger? Fair and square? Hardly. He's a cheat. Everyone knows it. We just can't prove it. Okay. Say you're right. Is there a middle ground? Can we give him something else instead? Someone like Dodger doesn't seem all that flexible. He's got to be, mate. Talk to him, please. Ask him for more time. Anything. We're begging you. Uh, let me think about that. See, now that's what I'm supposed to be saying. So the, the only reason I let that play out is so that story continued. That's the only reason. But yeah, that glitchiness is aggravating the shit out of me. Alright, let's see. So what can I do? Now? See, there's... Sophie in the tunnel. Or stone... Yeah, stone goods. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Well, I'm dead. I did, did Spider-Man wall crawl down to the ground and killed myself. Come on, come on. All right, at least I'm okay. I'm not there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Shit, no. Man, that guy's selling them for a fortune. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a rare commodity, but shit. That's still outrageous for us. There's that and that. Do that again. Woohoo! Hell yeah! Oh, it's getting dark. I'm heading back to the bazaar anyway, and it's right here. Yeah, I mean, even he's been glitching. Safe right here. Let's make things lively. One hundred more. Oh, wait, wait. No freaking way. Unless you're willing to cut the time by ten seconds. Deal. Living dangerously. 
It was already an impossible task. Well, we'll see about that. Aiden, you find my flower yet? Yeah, that's what I'm here about. I'm trying to hold him Teresa focus. Teresa and Benny are in dire straits. Can you forgive their dad, or at least give them more time? Fuck that. How many times do I have to say I'm not running a charity? I Why, why'd you stand back up? I need to play cards. Yeah, air drive, no, sit down. can't pay his debts well. He's not a man, is he? Oh, sit is down. Stupid does. Maybe when they got nothing left but the skivvies on their butts, they'll have learned a valuable lesson. You know what, Aiden? Actually, yeah, I think I got something to help everyone. Honestly, nah, who cares about flour? What, am I going to be a baker all of a sudden? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Ah, but fuck it. I do want what I'm owed. And me and Urban, we've got this bet. Wait, whoa, 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 no fair, not him. He runs on walls. Of course it's fair. There's no rule against having him get them. You pull this off, Aiden, and what Urban will have to pay me <sighs> will more than cover my losses on the flower. And there'll be extra I can throw your way. Man, what exactly are you talking about here? You see, on top of the church, there's this, uh, well, let's just call it a flag. You can't see it from the ground, but this flag, well, it's, it's not a flag. Yeah, you'll know when you see it. Urban and I made a bet that I could find someone who could nab it for us. I've been raising the stakes for years, and Urban's called me every time. But with the amount on the line now, you know, it would be a sin not to give it a try. Uh, I'm in no hurry. Rather, you just keep raising the stakes till it gets real juicy. What's that? <laughs> Fear suddenly got you all puckered. Nah, I, I'm just looking out for you. It'll ruin you if you lose now, being out the flower and all. Well, I'm game if Aiden is. The time limit's pretty fucking brutal, but, you know, I've got faith in Aiden here. So, you in? Yeah, I guess. Let's do this. Well, then let's just get to it, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Andale, Aiden. Make me proud. What? Am I, am I, oh my god, I'm actually timed right now. But yeah, is any is anybody having the damn glitches like I am? Oh man, it's gotta be dark too. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, it's on top of the church. Shit. Uh. Fuck. Wait, wait, no, no, not here, not here. I gotta go around. It's uh this way. Good evening, Aiden. Okay, so over here. I can go over here to there. Whatever, don't care, just go. Okay, where where's wish it was daytime? So what? Go back down? Shit, how, how do I get down? How do I get down? Uh, right here. What in the hole? Seriously? I'm in a tune of myself. Look, I will turn every 
Well, I mean, oh. uh, still not time. Let me turn daytime. Hey, how slow you gotta walk in here. Alright. We're gonna skip the shit. How about I pay you? You do that for them? Tell you what. Well, that works too. Oh. And you still mean to pay Teresa? You have? Yeah. You. Ah, oh, it's so so annoying. Anyway, let's see if we have a lot of. You know, I'm gonna call this video here. See if I can do something about the glitches because that's horrible. So, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and please forgive, you know, the, how the game's playing. Um, you got there, Aiden. Is com it new? Comment, tell me what I could do to prevent this from ever happening before, or ha ever happening again. But, um, yeah, go ahead and like, uh, ring that bell for upcoming contents, too. Thank you.